ever punched in a web address or clicked on a link. Congratulations, you've interacted with a URL. That's short for Uniform Resource Locator. Picture it as a street address in this grand city of internet, where each segment of the URL is a different part of that address, sharing distinct info. Our journey begins with the scheme. It's like the postal service of the digital city, telling your browser the kind of address it's dealing with. The big players here are HTTP and HTTPS, with the extra S standing guard when you need that extra security. Though your browser plays it cool, often hiding the scheme to keep things neat, it's always there, working in the shadows. Now, cruising down the URL street, we hit the domain name. This is where you find out who's the big shot behind the site, like YouTube or Google. The domain name kicks off with a subdomain. www is the popular kid on the block, and it often can be ignored. But sometimes you'll bump into others that can't be skipped, steering you to specific areas, like a shopping page for spaceshipgear.com. As we venture rightward, we stumble upon the top-level domain. The classic .com is a familiar face, but there's a whole party of top-level domains out there, like for the scholarly, for the official, and for the organizations. Following the domain, we might come across a file path, guiding us to a specific spot, like a page dedicated to a spaceship suits, or maybe a spaceship engine. Oh, and here's where things get spicy. Some URL invite along, a parameter string or an anchor. A parameter string, kicking off with a question mark, whispers to the server about the web page to load, while an anchor, starting with a hashtag, directs you to a precise spot on a long page. So let's dissect a URL, shall we? Take this one. The domain name tells us we're on Wikipedia page, and the file path indicates that it is about the Eiffel Tower. The parameter indicating that the language for the page should be French, and what about the anchor? It takes you directly to the section about the construction of the Eiffel Tower. Now, when you next dive into a URL, you'll see it's more than just a web address. It's your roadmap to navigating the sprawling digital city that is the internet. And remember, each part of the URL is a clue to where you're headed. So happy exploring and stay cyber savvy.